President of the California Family Council tells me even though the leaked draft opinion from the high court hinted Roe would disappear this summer, to have the actual ruling out feels surreal. He helped lead the state's second March for Life just two days ago and almost can't believe the goal he started handing out pamphlets to help reach in the 90s has been achieved. Now that some state abortion bans or trigger laws are going into effect across the country based on this ruling, many minus exceptions from maternal health or rape, I asked him if this change is fair to young teen girls who will be forced to bear the children of their abusers, abusers who could be their relatives or family friends. That is Obviously, I think the most difficult scenario that you can face is a pregnancy as a result of rape and incest. Um, I would say, however, when I've spoken with those uh, women and men that were born, they have asked, why should I have to face the death penalty because of a crime that my father committed? My life began in 1962, predating the Roe v. Wade decision um, conceived by a mom my mom, my dear mom, in difficult circumstances, and she stridently supports abortion to this day. And if abortion had been legal in 1962, there's a high probability that I wouldn't be here today. The Supreme Court's latest ruling on Roe has been something state pro-choice advocates have been planning and preparing for for months, educating women everywhere about what rights won't change in California and sharing those details across state borders day when our highest court takes away rights that we've enjoyed for uh, an entire generation. So we're all devastated today, even though we knew it was likely. Whether you choose to have had an abortion in your own lifetime, whether you know somebody who has, uh, whether you might ever know somebody who needs one, um, your life is impacted too, whether you support it or not. And I think it's pretty clear that I'm not sure this is going to stop at abortion. So the conversation amongst families is what are our values? What do we value in terms of a country in affording people their basic human civil rights to make decisions about their own persons? Directors of the Planned Parenthood affiliate in San Diego say they've seen a 10% increase in demand for service just since the draft opinion on Roe was released.